Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Sharing a dream that my son had this morning. Now, normally I don't share dreams, especially when they seem to be personal. But this dream doesn't seem to be personal to him or even to our family. It actually seems to be pointing to our ministry in some way and maybe even you guys as well. He starts off talking about how he was in a classroom learning a unique subject before a storm destroyed the building and he was rescued and flown away to where he actually landed in the wilderness kind of environment all while stuff was falling to the earth like falling stars so I'm gonna let him tell his dream and then I'm gonna to try to ask him questions at the end of the dream to help fill in those blanks if you would in the comments section share what you think the dream all means hey y'all coaching the fight here got Will with me Hello. Will got a dream y'all dream time okay Will go ahead Alright, so, um, what happened in the dream is me and my classmates survived a plane crash, but we started. Alright, so me and my classmates were learning something. It wasn't math or English or spelling. We were all in like a small house learning something but I don't know what it was and it was like a small house like house on the prairie a small house and we were learning something while there was a bad storm outside and we knew we had to go quick but we wanted to finish the subject that we were on and while we were finishing up the the roof and the walls had just blew away and we were all scared and we uh our teacher was a pilot and uh she found a plane and um she said everybody to get in the plane and we all started running to the plane and half of us was in the plane and she took off but the other half of the people were attached to ropes that were attached to the plane. So they were just in the air. And all of us had to pull them in because there was no back on the plane. And we had to pull them in. And then when everybody got pulled in, um, when everybody got pulled in, Everybody got buckled in, and then we uh we went straight down to land, and uh, cause we didn't go down early enough, we had to go straight down, and um we went straight down, and the floor and the seats just flew off the plane, but the seat belts were still holding us. The straps were still holding us and when we go straight down it caught on fire at the same time and 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 we were still going down and then he said to let go of everything, just don't hold on to anything. Cause she knew that we wasn't gonna fall out the plane. We had rose up when we let go. We rose up and hit our head, hit the top of the plane while still on fire. And we were, and then uh, when we were getting close to the ground, the plane had flipped over and um, we was all screaming and um, since, we, uh, since we had missed the track, the plane track, we um, uh, we uh, were gonna hit the dirt while it was still flipped over and uh, me and this kid's head was about to hit the, um, get scraped on the ground, it was like a little hill part 
was about to scrape, and so uh, the pilot said, um, let go of, uh, unbuckle all your seat belts, and we done it so fast that our he heads didn't get scraped, and... And then we, uh, all the kids got flown everywhere. And, um, all the kids got flown everywhere. And I got flown about 20 yards into the woods. And then, uh, because if you, uh, kept your seatbelt onto the plane, you're going to get uh, burnt with it and blown up with it. But it didn't blow up. And, uh... And all the kids were just screaming that we was alive. And then my dream ended. I woke up. Well, all right. Very good dream. Okay, now, got some questions. And everybody else, if you got questions, you ask them too. I Going back, you say it started off with you guys in a classroom. Yes, sir. Kind of like a little house on a prairie schoolhouse. Yes, sir. Was it only just kids in the classroom? Yeah, it was kids my age and one teacher. And the teacher, but the teacher was a grown woman. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. All right. So now the teacher was giving a class, and the storm was going on outside. Yes. When the dream started, the storm was going on. Yes, sir. The storm was already going on when the dream started. Yeah. And y'all were still in the class. Yes, sir. Whose idea was it to stay in the class, the teacher or the student? Kind of all of us because we wanted to finish that thing that we were working on. Y'all was wanting to finish the lesson. So did y'all actually finish the lesson? No. Y'all didn't actually finish the lesson. Why? Because the roof and the walls fell off and we knew that we was in danger. So, so it blew like blew like a, like a hurricane, blew the walls and the roof off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So all of a sudden, class over with, and the teacher started looking for an airplane. She kind of knew the plane was around, but yeah. So she went and she went to the plane. She told all of y'all to come to the plane. Yes, sir. And but everybody didn't make it into the plane. No. Some people had ropes attached to them. Yeah. Did everybody have a rope? Even the people in the plane. Mm, no, it's like the people who got there, I don't know if we took our ropes off, but we didn't have a rope on us. On the plane, but the ones who didn't make it, they, they had a rope to attach to them. Yes, sir. And were they running behind the plane? Yeah, they are trying to make it in, but we had uh, lifted off. Yeah, they lifted off, but and then so they had ropes attached to them. And so you say each person had to grab one rope and pull it in? No, all of us had to grab one rope because it was so hard to pull them in while we was flying in the air. All of us had to get one person at a time. So it took several people to get one person, and so y'all get one person in, and then y'all pull another person in. Yes, sir. Did y'all get everybody in? Yeah. Everybody got in. Now, when they were in the plane, did they did the ropes go away, or did they keep the ropes on? We They took them off. Did they take them off, or they disappeared? We took them off. Who took them off? The people who had them on took them off their cell. Okay. Did y'all help them take the ropes off? No. No. Did they put seat belts on? Yeah. That's when the seats were and everything was on the plane. So they took the ropes off and put the seat belts on? Yeah. And got in the seats? Yes, sir. And so then y'all was flying along before the, before the floor fell out. Y'all were just flying along? No, uh, as soon as everybody got buckled in, we went straight down. Like the plane was falling out of the sky? Mm-mm, we were trying to land on the track, but um, we didn't, but we were trying, so. So by the time everybody got in, in, it was time to land the plane? Yeah. In the airport? Yes, sir. On the, air, on the airstrip? But y'all missed the airstrip? Yeah. Is that what caused the floor to fall out? No, well, we was going straight down. I think that we was going straight down and it was on fire. It just fell out. What caused it to be on fire? Mm, I don't really know. It was just something. What was the pilot doing? What was the pilot doing? 
and he was just going straight down. She was not really scared, but she was trying just trying to get us safe, I guess. And she uh just trying uh as much as she could to land it safely, but that didn't happen. Okay, so you ready to get to the landing part yet? But you flying, you got pulling the people in. All of a sudden, everybody's in. And now the pilot decides to land the plane. It's time to land the plane. So she puts the plane in the nosedive going straight towards the airfield. And is she going so fast that the that the floor flew off? Yeah. I and maybe caught the plane on fire too? Yeah. Because it was going, because it was falling so fast? Mm-hmm. But yes. the pilot knew what she was doing. Yeah, and we missed the track because of the wind and everything, so... The wind was blowing y'all too off the track. Yeah, that's what flipped the plane. So y'all flipped before y'all hit the ground? Yeah. So when y'all hit the ground, y'all was upside down? Yeah. All right, when you hit the ground, was you still in a nosedive or was your back horizontal? We were upside down and we were not... But was you flying horizontal or were you flying vertical? Like in between. Yeah, at like a 45 degree angle? Yeah. And then, so you you flying in at a 45 degree angle, plane flips upside down, and y'all hit the ground? Yes, sir. But Bye. we don't hit the ground because we let go before we collaborate with the ground. So the plane hit the ground, but y'all let go of the plane? Yeah. And y'all got slung all the way out in the woods and stuff? Yes, sir. Was you the only one out in the woods? No, everybody else had let go. And they all ended there. up in the woods? They're kind of like everywhere. There's about 20 kids. So. Yeah. Some was still on the tarmac and some was out of the woods and some was in the woods? Yes, sir. Okay, so, but you 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 had to let go of the plane before the plane actually hit the ground. Yeah, we were pretty close. I don't know how we done it so fast, but we were about like 10 feet from the ground before we let go. While we was upside oh, down. And, but you let go, and when you let go, the plane went one way and you went the other way. Yeah. Did the plane burn up when it hit the ground? It just burnt, it didn't explode it just burnt yeah what happened to the pilot she was okay she she was pretty close she was running from the plane because we all thought it was gonna blow up but but she, she got out okay. of the plane too yes sir. but everybody got out of the plane yeah everybody was okay did anybody have ropes or anything on them mm -mm. all right well can't think of any more questions Anybody else? But you don't remember what the class was about. You said it wasn't math, it wasn't English. You don't know what the subject was. No, I don't. No. All right. Mm, no. No, not really. I don't was there remember. any other people around at all? I don't remember any, no. Just the students and the teacher and the plane? Yeah. Do you remember anything else besides the two, two the, 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 the tarmac, the airport, the plane, the teacher, and the students? Ropes and seatbelt? Remember anything else? Um, when we was running to the plane, stuff was falling out in the sky. Like what? Metal stuff. We don't know. It was on fire? Mm -mm. It was just falling out in the sky. Like, uh, so that was after the uh, walls blew off. Yeah. And y'all was running toward the plane. How did you know it was metal stuff falling out of the sky? Because it was hitting some people and I kind of saw it. And was it hurting them? Yeah, it hurt some people. That's the people who didn't make it because it was hurt. They, did it kill them? Mm -mm, it didn't kill them. It just, did it wound them enough where they didn't, they, so you say they didn't make it, so it wounded them that they couldn't get on the plane? Yeah. Was it stuff from the hurricane winds or was it stuff coming down from the heavens up there in out the of sky? Space, yeah. yeah, out of space. Do you know? 
It looked like you were coming straight down, so out of space, I guess. Coming what straight. did it look like? Mm, I don't really know. We just know it was solid because when it hit people, it hurt them. Yeah, and I heard it hitting the ground. And it sounded like metal? What did it sound like when it hit the ground? It sounded like metal. Like a clanging noise? Mm-hmm. What other planes was it? What mm. parts of planes was it? I don't know. It could have been, but I don't know. Alright, good question. Good question. Um, I don't know, guys. If y'all think of any more questions, put them in the comment section. We'll be glad to let Will help us to answer. But we want to thank Will for sharing his dream with us. And it's been dream time. Dream time.